Well, Minnesota's attorney general says he needs more money to help overworked county prosecutors with criminal cases. But Keith Ellison's idea has fallen flat with Republicans and with protesters who disrupted him today. Here's political reporter Theo Keith with that dispute. Could, could, we, could we call security? We just got to call security. Attorney General Keith Ellison, whose budget request is being blocked by Senate Republicans, came to fight for it Thursday. Some were here to fight with him. Capital security ultimately booted the disruptors. With them gone, Ellison turned to his critics in the legislature. He's asking for $1.8 million to hire seven prosecutors in the AG's office, more than tripling the staff available to help counties with an increasing number of violent crime cases. And it would put us in a position where we don't have to triage and tell people no. There's no way to Bigfoot anyone. This is invitation only kind of thing. Republicans in the Senate have a tough on crime message, but they're holding up this funding out of frustration with Ellison's prosecutorial decisions. Senator Mary Kiffmeyer, whose committee controls the AG's budget, told Fox 9 that Ellison has enough time and resources already. Majority Leader Jeremy Miller said he hadn't yet considered the request. Well, we increased funding for uh, the judiciary. We, we increased funding for public defenders. I'm not, I'm not sure on what exactly the request is. Hennepin County Attorney Mike Freeman vouched for Ellison's idea, saying it would help metro area prosecutors. All three of us from the counties have sent people out to greater Minnesota counties to help them when they needed it and they simply couldn't do it. Because justice is for all Minnesotans. That further puts me behind the eight ball. Yet Freeman's mere presence could be a distraction. Republicans have accused him of being soft on crime, something he rejected. Senators sometimes are wrong. The police enforcement people who've said are wrong because we've reviewed that. We prosecute the cases we must. The $1.8 million request is a tiny fraction of the billions of dollars that have been proposed to spend this session. There are just two weeks left, and this is yet another place where the House and Senate are on opposite sides. Amy? All right, Theo, thank you.